If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire episode 333. It's making plans. So when you make plans, think big. Gargantuan. Hugundo. These are some of the words from the old arm workouts. But when you are making processes, think small. And so along this process of accomplishing some things within my career, uh, and, and the most recent one with Muscle Island, a lot of people think that it's some crazy major process, and it's really not. It's all of the small wins that Cole always talks about on the podcast that add up to then basically this alley-oop to where you're prepared and you just got to be the one that goes and says, I'm going to fucking jam it, right? And so the reality is when you see an opportunity, you're confident about the opportunity and, and, it's, and it's right there. It's not because of that day. It's because of all the days leading up to it. Being able to execute Muscle Island has nothing to do with right now. It has everything to do with investing for the last 10 years, with getting equity in certain properties. With other, It has everything to do with equity of relationships of people that are helping me that I've known for 10 and 15 years. It honestly has nothing to do with right now. Right now is what you're seeing with the Muscle Island Project is about the execution because I saw the opportunity. The opportunity was not, the opportunity to even actually implement and make this happen has nothing to do with right this second. All of these things combined is what led up to, to say, could I attempt this? Does, is this a calculated risk? Does this make sense? How much will this stretch me, stretch me, but how much will this stretch just my mentality, my business, the opportunities for content that that's what I had to like really look at. And so when I'm doing those things, it's not because of what's happening right now. I can't stress that enough. A lot of people think it's some big, grandioso, major thing, and it's no, it's not that at all. It's not missing workouts, coming to work every day, going through the ups and downs, the battles, this, the that. that ha it, and it's like being consistent at relentless pursuit to try to get a chance to maybe do a Muscle Island one day. And the thing is, sometimes those things are years in between each other. Years, if not five years, if not 10, they don't come around very often. That's why you prepare and do the processes. And once again, making process, when you're making processes, you think small, you think small wins, you think consistency, you think on top of each other. And then when you're making plans one day, I might be able to do this. Well, if you do all these small things, when that one day opportunity comes, you can fucking snatch that motherfucker. You can snatch it with elite execution. You can snatch it with elite confidence. You can snatch it thinking that you're going to figure out the solutions along the way. And I am sure as hell, I, I know for a fact there is shit coming my way I have not figured out yet. But I believe with the resources and the push and the planning and all of those things, I will. Now, at the end of the day, there's going to be some curveballs. There's going to be some fastballs. It's when you're doing processes and when you're trying to go out and do things that haven't been done before, especially in my realm of thinking, um, that is all possible. But you got to you got to plan to be able to have solutions, to be confident in your execution, and it's because of the small processes, day by day that when you are making a plan to execute something big, you believe it's possible. So that's uh, Daily Fire episode 333. When you're making plans, think big. When you're making processes, think small. And that's straight from James Clear and the Ed Milet Show. All right.